Listen. Disappointment. Stern Ritter D. Grammy. The disappointment. Because with the powers of the V visionary, he was so far from what he could have actually been. A true phenom stunting crip walking on every damn opponent that came in his way. But no. Imagination. I can be anything I want. Imagination of Grammy was mid. So many things that he could have done were within the confounds of his power scheme that he already established and for some reason just, just never thought about it, never actually did him. And even though he's the strongest star knight, the equivalent of Kenpachi, who's the quote unquote strongest Shinigami, because Grammy's potential is clearly never fully envisioned, characters like Byakuya or characters like Kyoraku could get the job done 1v1 against Grammy too. That's how it honest to God feels. Because Kenpachi genuinely, you could argue, lives up to the strongest Shinigami. There are very, 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 very few individuals, since you can argue, are on the same level as Kenpachi. Grammy, though, disappointment. And many folks, I think, really do feel that Grammy could have been way, way, way better. I'm not saying that he's not cool. I'm not saying he's not cool. And the stance that I feel now is what I felt years ago when they came on the manga. I, honest to God, think that Grammy was wasted potential at its finest at its fullest and let's go through a quick rundown of what he did essentially when he popped in when he popped in he took out two captains rose and Kent that are pretty much already done after mass the masculine you go you go superstar that's my boy i don't care no one says i have a boy then you have him fight against Yachiru, quote unquote fight. He basically stunts on her, grabs her arm, turns into cookies, then she thinks of cookies, then her whole body shuts down. Just <sighs> so she's done. Then in comes Kenpachi, studly. He makes his body tougher than steel, but Kenpachi cuts through that easy peasy. Then he heals the wound immediately that he gets from Kenpachi. Okay, interesting. Makes lava, then that lava rushes towards Kenpachi. After that, he makes a block of water just out of thin air. That Sasquatchy immediately. Then he splits the entire plateau that he made. By the way, that I forgot to mention too. He makes that gigantic stage from the fight on. And after a series of exchanges, making like machine guns, then making missiles, making like these metal rods to protect himself. After that giant stone hand comes down from wherever and crushes Kenpachi, Kenpachi cuts Grammy in the process. Grammy, oh my God. No, wait a minute. I'm getting cut. I didn't react fast enough. Wait, is it possible? Can I really die? Can I really lose? Pachi, bruh, what you doing? Be better. Basically, he just, he cradles his Grammy. Be, be better. better. And voila, click, he bees better. But those were strong red flags that Grammy's imagination was mid. And let me show you my quote unquote max power. He drops in the meteorite. And the meteorite was stunning. Not only is it stunning of itself, but making a completely other independent life form, another him. And we saw that previously with the vanishing point. Well, that's a very cool concept for sure. The meteorite comes in, Kenpachi cuts that drink, Nozarashi. That was an outstanding, fantastic, phenomenal scene. I, Kenpachi, just unbelievable so i'm making more of me's not mini me's but actual genuine me's and then opens a window in space he opens a window in space and he envelops kenpachi via that window in space and kenpachi's kind of trapped in that pocket of space but then he breaks out he gets cut you have the electrode me's they self-destruct and then that's grammy's endgame on paper it does seem like quite a bit particularly the meteorite which broke through, of course, the Seirete barrier, Shakomaku, and then also the Shadow Realm pocket dimension surrounding the entire Seirete that sustains the Vanden Reiki, right? And then, of course, the window in space. The, that Those are the two gnarliest things that he actually did. Though, you can argue that also making life, too, is pretty radical as well. Like, he made an entire Stern Ritter based on his own imagination. However, bro, why didn't you drop another meteorite. In the wise words of Maruchiha, what about the second one? 
What about the second one, dog? If you can make all these missiles go on Ken Pachi's way, why not do uh, a little bit of Oppenheimer and drop some nukes? Huh? What? Get that 25 kill streak and just set it off. It's not soldatentrach. You're German, aren't you? Can't you make a gas nein, 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 nein. In theory, with the imagination, you can do damn near anything you want to. And I guess in the general sense here, Grammy is limited in his imagination with his spiritual power. And his spiritual power, in theory, could only allow him to do so much. But at the same time, there's still so much wasted potential given the paradigm, the scope of what his powers could already do. Grammy had the ability to make a whole new life form in the vanishing point. And that guy had three abilities. He had the ability of invisibility, then the ability to erase his very existence and physical form, then he could vanish from somebody else's conscious and memory. Why not try and apply those things to your own attacks, Monsieur Grammy? It's one thing if they're missiles. What if they're invisible missiles? Whoa. Whoa. On that plateau that Grammy made, he set up these invisible traps and Kenpachi was stumbling and fumbling in those traps. Yu Yu Hakusho fans know exactly how dangerous that kind of stuff can be. What if let's say instead of that, oh, well, I'm covering the steel whole thing, why not just did what Lee did and you could erase your physical form for like a few seconds and then Kenpachi can't do anything. No damage. No damage, no damage, bro. Why not envision things like, instead of having lava, why not envision a whole volcano? The man has the potential to literally recreate Krakatoa. Grammy! Krakatoa! Uh, right there, yo, right. <sighs> Right there, right? It's 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 self-explanatory. Grammy really had the bag and he fumbled it. This man cashed in money in the bank and he still couldn't get the three count pin. It, it, it's, oh my God, bro. It's just unbelievable. Hey, it's a cube. <laughs> Make a tsunami, dude. What are you doing? Make a tsunami. Have the inner wipe your and then make a tsunami. Huh? Instead of doing some some rinky dink split in that plateau, why not make it like a Mike Guy Sekizo pit? And then in the bottom of that pit, since you can create life, why don't you make these powerful creatures? Like imagine these powerful beasts and monsters, three-headed bears, sharks with missiles on them that fly around. You see what I'm saying? Make like five-headed dragons that even Godzilla can't beat. Make Godzilla! Oh, <laughs> man, dude. This, this right here is the problem with Grammy. Grammy has abilities that are very, 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 very powerful. But the way he utilized them sucked. Not just your imagination running wild, right? But in the paradigm of his own ability spectrum, he can create life, he can create like natural disasters, potentially at will, the meteorite. He can open up a window in space. Why not, hey, Grammy, doesn't hell exist somewhere in Bleach? Why not open a window to hell? Why not send Kenpachi into one of the Bleach movies? Open a window to hell, get, get in there, kid. Please! I would assume the reason why he could manipulate someone like Yachiru uh, so easily and turn her arm into cookies is because when he touched her he infused his spiritual power into her and then when she imagined something that was going awry it happened to her body physically but someone like Kempachi is so powerful the idea ultimately would be okay well he can't be succumbed to Grammy's powers because he himself is a stud and in theory in theory in theory because there's no physical touch he can infuse his spiritual power into Kenpachi. And again, even so, that wouldn't even work. If it was not the case, and what I just said was all cap, and he could directly manipulate Kenpachi via imagination, just kill him. Just kill Kenpachi, bruh. Imagine that his neck turned into biscuits. 
He's done. He's done. Imagine his heart became a red velvet cake. He's dead. Kenpachi's dead. He's dead on sight. So. I know, I know, we should all just let bygones be bygones, but that ain't the way it's gonna be. He couldn't imagine the monster that was Kenpachi, but he could imagine the monster, but he couldn't because the body, and then, well, whatever, I'm a brain, and then I fade away. I'm like, I'm like dude, bruh, 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 bruh. Imagine yourself to be Ego, the living planet. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. Again. We have to assume that because it's a limit on a spiritual power, that he can only do so much, in theory, fair enough, fine. But if you can make a mirror that big, that big, that can destroy most all the Serite, that broke through that barren Serite, I mean, dog, come on. Crack a toa, crack a toa. I I'm, I'm gonna say that one more time. Crack a toa. Blow it all up. Nukes. Hey, nukes are lovely. They're lovely. They go. Ding, and everyone goes, whoa, and then there's shadows on the wall. Tsunamis are also fun too. Yeah, if you're on top and you're, you're, you're woohoo. If you're in the bottom, ah, oh my God, I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> At least they had some good music when he was dying. <sighs> Grammy to me, I thought should have a lot more, especially in the manga sense, because in the anime, you don't get this, but in the manga, in the manga, when Grammy makes that meteorite, Everyone is on red alert, literally, including Hashvald. Hashvald, protect his majesty when this guy drops the meteorite. Yuha is literally on the balcony like the freaking Narnia lion, just hair in the wind, watching it all come down. I'm like, bro, like, Remy got sauce. Apparently not enough sauce to make a tornado and put like krakens and sharks in that tornado. I know, oh, well, Kenpachi would cut it all down, which is probably true for the, mo for the most part. Why not, hey, you know what? Make a pit and then put a crazy sulfuric acid in that pit and Kenpachi goes into the acid. Like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Honestly, I need to do a video just on this and the possibilities of what Grammy could do if he actually had some genuine imagination. But on the final note, with the way Kubo executed it, when you just sit down and think about it for five seconds, it's always going to feel underwhelming. And yes, I understand full well, because I know folks want to say this too. I understand full well that Kubo had problems with his health, with the editing staff of Shueisha at that point in time when he was drawing Bleach. But keep in mind that Kubo for the Bleach anime, he is a supervisor, and I believe it still applies in the uh, season two, core two. There's been new content that he's provided for the Bleach anime. Before this part two even started, Kubo drew up new scenes for content that wasn't in the manga exclusively for the anime. Kubo has had the chance to add or enhance the Gremi versus Kenpachi fight, but it's still almost a one for one the same way it was in the manga. So even though the fight is epic as all hell in the anime, in my mind, Gremi still being underwhelming and having that WTF ending, I'll say it one last time. Disappointment. Let me know your thoughts on this topic in the comment section down below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and double tap subscribe to click on the bell to join the notification squad. I'm gonna catch you cats on the flip side. See you, bye bye.